Okay, guys. So we're looking at the next syndrome. This is what is known as a Lois diet syndrome. Lois diet syndrome. So uh, there are a lot of characteristics here, but the write-up is not clear. But I think we were talking about the symptoms. You guys now get to see there. All right. So I brought the image because it's, however, very important. But this one is very, very clear. You guys can see it. So this law is diet syndrome is actually a rare connective tissue disorder that significantly impacts what the versus the, the organs that will be affected is the heart, blood vessels, and other organs. So causes and genetic basis is due to a, a mutation in several genes. So it's caused by mutation in gene related to what the transform the transforming growth factor beta pathway, such as what. Uh, the type 1, the type 2, the SMART3, um, TGFB2, B TGFB3. Okay? Inheritance pathway is an autosomal dominant manner. So it means that even if you inherit just one copy of the gene that is bad, guy, you'll be affected. All right? So intracranial aneurysm, cherry malformation, thin or translucent skin. Doughy skin texture, all right. Teeth crowding, you understand. Hypertellurism, cranial synostosis, and all of that. So symptoms is cardiovascular issues. So be developing aneurysms, okay. Craniofacial issues. Your your eyes will be widely spaced. That's hypertellurism. Um, skeletal abnormalities, spine instability, club foot scoliosis. Skin manifestations that's translucent or soft skin, immune systems, uh, okay, like allergies, asthma, other inflammatory conditions like eczema, right? So, diagnosis is just um, medical history and physical examination, then genetic testing to see if all those genes I mentioned were actually what uh, mutated. So medications like beta blockers just to slow down the stress on blood vessels, surgical intervention to repair aortic aneurysms, ongoing monitoring. Okay, that's it. Basically, this is just it for the Lois diet syndrome.